So what do we look for for evidence of life on the Earth that's earlier? And by inference, what might we look for on planets that are at a more primitive state of their evolution than the Earth uh, even about half a billion years ago? So that's what brings us to Shark Bay in particular. So if we come out here to Shark Bay, the reason we're here is not because of the sharks. In fact, we haven't seen any sharks in the time we've been here. We've seen some dolphins, um, but no sharks. Um, but what we do find here that's very interesting to us are these hummocky forms that you see behind me. These are called stromatolites. And Shark Bay is one of the small number of places on the Earth today where you find these uh, structures. Now, why do we care about these structures? Well, we care about them because for two big reasons. One is that they are produced by biology. They're produced by microorganisms called cyanobacteria that we'll talk about a bit more in a moment. And we care about them because we find fossilized versions of these in ancient rocks going back to about three and a half billion years ago. So when I keep saying that the Earth has had life for at least three and a half billion years, major piece of evidence, the most major piece of evidence that the Earth has had, li had life on it three and a half billion years ago comes from fossilized forms of these things. Uh, coincidentally, found also in Western Australia, not that far from here, um, uh, in a place that's uh, very hot, that's ironically called North Pole. Um, so, so stromatolites are very important because they're formed by biology and because we find evidence of these stromatolites in the ancient geological record. And so they're among the most primitive signs of life that we can imagine.